We are going to go over two runs that are in the same formation. Look at this. Here, I made one quick move, and then I was gone. Because they're both in the same formation, it makes it super confusing to your opponent. And they're both from the pistol weak formation. This one is the triple option, and it is a killer. And this play here is the halfback zone weak. You just have to put your, you're going to have to switch where your halfback is because for the triple option, you want to put your halfback where your fullback is because that's who's getting the ball. And then you're going to have to switch back if you're going to run the halfback zone weak. Then you're going to have to put the halfback back into the, its original position. Here again, triple option. Made one quick move just like that, and I was gone. Gone. Of the two, the triple option is a better run, but run together, they are deadly. Okay, both of these runs we find in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. And the formation is the pistol weak formation. Now you see here, you have the fullback to the left of the quarterback, and then you have the halfback behind the quarterback. So if you're going to run the triple option, you want to make your substitutions, press R1. And then you're going to take first take your starting halfback, take him out, put your second halfback in, then go to the fullback position, and then put your number one halfback back in that position. And then if you want, you know, you could put the fullback back in here or keep the second halfback. And then you pick the play. You go to the triple option. Now we'll go against random. Now, how you want to do this? Look, I'm just going to just tap X. I'm going to show you what happens here. Now, it's an option play if you just tap X. You want to just run the option with your quarterback, just tap X, and then if you want, hit, hit L1 to pitch it off. That's another way. I, I never use it like that, but you can. It is deadly like that. But to use it how I run it, don't tap X when you call hike. Press hike and hold it for like two seconds until he hands the ball off to the your number one halfback. And look, look at the blocking I didn't get. <laughs> but I, I, I get so many big yards when I use this running play. You get good blocking from your outside right wide receiver. And remember, call hike. You press and hold X until the handoff. Then hit turbo. A lot of runs you don't want to hit turbo first, but here I feel like if you hit, you hit turbo as soon as you get the ball, you get a good speed burst and you can outrun linemen just like I did there. And I'm getting huge, even in practice mode, I'm getting huge chunks of yards. Press and hold X. You know, you might have to make one guy miss at first. I mean, that's a lot of times there might be a free defender coming at you, but you make him miss and it's off to the races. And again, if you just tap X, you can use it like the option. I guess, you know, you got to read that defensive end. If he breaks in towards the quarterback, then you don't hand the ball off. And then just, you know, pitch it hitting L1. But that's a different story. I'm just using it as the halfback. So press and hold X. Hit turbo. And you, I'm telling you, you guys, again, if you don't know about this play, now you do. Put this in your custom playbook if you do not use the Carolina Panthers playbook. I don't know. I'm sure the pistol weak formation is in other playbooks. I just don't know. I, I always got it from here. Even last year, I ran this play also. It was just as good. Now, from here, you could... Uh, I can't audible into it. All right, so let's call timeout. Now we're going to go back to the the other running play that we have in this pistol weak formation and it's the halfback zone weak now you want to make your substitutions again take your halfback out of that position put the fullback in there or a tight end you want somebody that can block here and then put your number one halfback back behind your quarterback then the halfback zone weak 
hit random play. And this, it don't matter if you tap or hold X, it's just gonna go right to the halfback, no option play here. And you get good three, four yards plus with this, with this play also. So this is a good one-two punch with the triple option because your opponent might read if he doesn't catch on that you have a full back there and, and you're making those types of substitutions especially in the beginning if you don't catch on to that and he tries to read the full back and he sets up on the other side like as his user you're gonna gain huge yards with this also i mean these two runs have been working great for me and the only way this play gets stopped is if that's a, you know, they get a quick block shed like that. But look, you, a lot of times you get that downfield block like I just did here. So this is a killer one-two punch. And uh, I want to show you another thing too, because not only does it have those two plays in this formation, in the Carolina Panthers playbook, it's from the I-form wing formation. Now watch how good this is. This is almost as good as the triple option. And watch this whole thing because I got two ways to run this. We are going over the halfback toss. We're gonna to go against random. Watch how deadly this is. Now, first, you could run this just like this without motioning anybody out. And look at the blockers you get. You might have to make one guy miss. Whatever, you can. If you have a good enough back, you got good enough stick work. Look at this. But now, to make this a little bit better, you could motion out your full back to the right stay with us there's one more thing we're gonna do and look at the blockers you get that I didn't follow there motion to full back out wait till he sets call hike look at this look at this that's exactly how it's gonna look when you run it I'm telling you you get huge gains with this I'm somebody that don't want to pass I just want to keep the ball on the ground limit my interceptions because I make terrible reads, because I focus on defense, sending the heat, and running the ball all the time. But look, here's another way you could run this. Motion out that tight end that's all the way to the right. And he's gonna get that outside block, no matter what. Look at that, look at that. Make one guy miss. Look at how easy this is, and getting huge gains. With these three running plays, you could get almost 300 rushing yards per game. I mean, I did. I almost got 300 rushing yards in that my last video that I posted. I used this playbook, and I won money in that game. That was our first Gamer Saloon victory. I won five bucks, and this is what I'm going to be sticking with. Look at that. You get big gains every single time. Like this video, subscribe to us, hit that little notification bell because you don't want to miss anything we're doing. I'm JP Storm with GamingAuthority.com.